Welcome back, folks. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Upper Mississippi River Valley. Guys, we are going to do Alice Chalmers. Look at this tractor. Oh, man. This is the one we got in the auction yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. She is something else. I got hooked up to our cultivator right now. We're going to be do doing some tilling right away here. I got this field that I need to till up right here. This field has been, uh, it's an old wheat field, actually. It's been all chopped down, but we need to uh, till this up and get it ready to go. I need to plant in. We're running behind on schedule here. I need to get into this field and get it planted. And also, I need to plant over over there as well. We've got lots of planting to do today, but I need to put this Alice Chalmers through its, through its paces. This thing is amazing. Yeah, not bad at all compared to everything else we've got. I mean, we're like an extra 100 horsepower over anything else we've got. Things are just a beast. It is fantastic. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we're going to be pulling this through, tilling this up, and doing some planting here. I need to do some more wheat, and we need to do some soybeans. I need to, I need some kind of a cash crop. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean, right? We need some cash. So uh, we'll be doing some soybeans there. But anyways, let's jump on in. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. Oh, yes. Look at this. Just going to town on this field. Um, a lot of fun to drive this thing. Now, we did have to fill this thing up. And you know what? Um, I'm all of a sudden not a fan. <laughs> uh, you know, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But I mean, what diesel price is like a buck 30 almost now? Buck 30 a gallon? That's ridiculous. I mean, it wasn't what not too long ago, maybe five, six years ago, it was 30 cents a gallon. And now we're paying a buck 30 a gallon. That's pretty ridiculous, folks. Uh, I mean, really. It's it's the other tractors aren't that bad on fuel, and I'm just wondering. There's no I have a funny feeling this uh this thing here is gonna be a bit more a bit more of a beast when it comes down to the fuel consumption. Um I think it's gonna be a little slurpy slurpy when it comes to that. But what do you do? About a buck thirty I think it was a buck twenty eight or something like that is the last I saw for uh, a gallon. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Like if this this keeps on going, like where does it stop? Do you imagine what are we gonna hit like three dollars three dollars a gallon? Is that gonna happen? Come on. That's, that just can't happen, right? All right. Uh, one headland is wrapped up there. Let's get around the far side here. I'll make it a little bit easier. You can see how big this field is. She's a bit... Yeah, she's a bit big. But we've got lots of traction. Those big duels, front and rear, four-wheel drive. I mean, everything else. We do have the one John Deere uh, that is four-wheel drive as well. That older John Deere we got. But we're having issues with that thing. Oh, man. You know what? We'll probably try it again today. We'll see if we can plant with it a bit. I'm a bit of a sucker, guys. I've been driving with these articulating tractors instead, and they tend to be higher maintenance, I find. I, yeah, just a little bit extra. Why, if I stuck with something that was more conventional, I'm sure I wouldn't have to deal with that. But once again, we, we picked up Zala Chalmers. Now, this was a bit of a steal. If you guys missed yesterday's uh, yesterday's video or vlog on uh, the auction, look at what's going on here. She's sliding everywhere back there. She's just sliding out. Look at that. That's hilarious. Um, we got a steal of a deal on this this Alice Chalmers. Like it was next to nothing. Like twenty two fifty is all we paid for this thing. I, I I didn't really plan on get up there, get on up there. I really didn't plan on picking this thing up, guys. But no one was bidding on it, and I felt like, well, if, if you guys don't want this, then I might as well pick it up. So I might run it for a bit. We'll see how she runs. If it runs good, maybe we'll get rid of the John Deere. I mean, we do have a bit of a John Deere farm, mind you. Like, should I? Should I start changing things up? And, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll get rid of this. <sighs> Man, make a... Well, hey, this, this seems to run better than the John Deere. I think we should get rid of the John Deere. This has way more horsepower, but... You know what? Like, I'm, I'm complaining about fuel, but in the grand scheme of things, does it really matter that much? I mean, a buck 30, yeah, it's good, it's expensive, but so I might save myself a little bit if I, if I stuck with the John Deere because it's a bit of a smaller engine, but big deal. Like, how much is it really going to cost me? I, I mean... Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those things you got to decide, I suppose. So I think well, maybe we'll stick with this. Yeah, I just talked myself out of it, didn't I? We'll, we'll stick with this. I think we're going to get rid of that John Deere. And uh, I do need to find some other options, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the finances work out on this. I still do need some other pieces of equipment. So the 4440. Yeah, that one there. The, the uh, one without the uh, the cab. That is going to be our, our main tractor for around the farm around the auction house we're gonna be moving that using for moving bales it's got our front loader on it so i want that to be used for you know moving bales and that kind of stuff what i would like to get would be something else that would be able to just move just various grain around like some of the bucket on it is what i do need um i gotta find something like that maybe maybe something we can tow uh, a fertilizer unit with or something along those lines so yeah i don't know i gotta figure out something to do with that so that's something I gotta keep my eye open. I was kind of hoping maybe we could find that maybe that Ford that was at the auction. I would have liked to have picked that up because that was a possibility for that. 
Unfortunately, I, oh man, I kind of, I kind of spent everything I had before we got to that point, so that didn't end up working out for me, did it? Oh well. All right, we're on the back side over here, and then all the way back on down. This is a good sized field, folks. I'm telling you, this is a. This could be a pretty good profit. So my plan is, on around there, nice for this field. This is going to be my, my cash crop. This is going to be soybeans. It's a new fan-dangled crop. They haven't grown it for too much out in this neck of the woods. But uh, I think I think it's the next best thing. Uh, the, new, the new thing, it's going to be worth a lot of money. So, you know what? This seems like prices for it are going a little high. Because there's not a lot of farmers that are planted right now. And I think it's kind of a new thing. So I think I'm going to plant soybeans out here. And uh, we'll, we'll keep the wheat and stuff for our, so we can get some bales for our, uh, our auction house on the other fields but this one here this big field this is going to be kind of our cash field we'll expect this is going to make kind of push us through financial wise it's going to be a big boost i think so this is my plan we'll plant soybeans down here and the rest will stick with wheat and we'll keep it fairly straightforward with that sounds like a good plan to me we'll see we'll see how it works out you know what if it doesn't well there's always next year right so we'll be working away in the field here for a little bit it's not going to take us too too long it's early in the morning uh we're gonna to need to make a run and go grab a pallet of seed Think we'll need some uh, we'll need some seed for the soybeans i don't think i have anything left in this farm we got all wheat no soybeans though. that's a, a bit of an issue so we'll make a run we'll take care of that pick that up at the trip the old chev the pickup truck i think oh man will one big bag be enough to get through everything i don't know well you know what it's our first season here so uh we're gonna figure it out i guess oh missing a bit there we'll come back and grab that in a sec but uh we'll finish that off once we get done this field we'll be done this it shouldn't take us too long it's pretty quick uh pretty quick work of this field i think and then from there well we get busy planting that's right we get our plant on that, that make any sense <laughs> it doesn't make any sense uh yeah that's it so let's go guys time to go with speedy let's do this And there we go. Excellent. That was not too bad. Let's fold this thing on up. Uh, where's my gate? Gate should be around here somewhere. Looks good. There we go. All, all torn up, all tilled. Uh, nice. Let's go get back to work. Uh, we got a lot of things to take care of today. I got no time to waste. So, I'll have to go grab the Chev and uh, head and grab some seed. And yeah, we can get back in here hopefully. I don't know. I got to make a decision still. I don't know. I think we can wait. Maybe we can wait until after well, through the summer here and figure out what we're going to do with this tractor. I like this one. I do like the Alice Chalmers over that John Deere, guys. I think I'm going to keep this. The more I drive it, the more I'm like, yeah, this thing is not bad. It's uh, it's pretty slick. She's pretty slick compared to... I'll show you what we got inside just as we go by here. This we're going to leave it anyways as we go through the gates. We have the John Deere on the other side. Oh, suck it in. Squeeze. Oh, lots of room. Uh, where is it? Right here. Here, here we go. Park this right here for the time being. Nice. Stop right there. Yeah, so we've got... The, uh, which one is it? 7520. That's right. The 7520. Now, like I said, it's about 100 horsepower less than this Alice Chalmers. This thing is so sweet. It's so big. I mean, we're already having issues with this John Deere, so maybe it's, it is time to move up to that. I don't know. I think I'll, maybe I'll just hold on to it for the year. But I'm definitely going to hold on to this one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hold on to the Alice Chalmers. Even though we got such a good deal on it, I still want to, I want to hold on to it. I could flip it and make some cash. But I think I'd be better off selling this anyways. Yeah. I think I, this is just such a workhorse, guys. I want this on the farm. Anyways, we're all good there. But we do need to do some seeding today. We've got some planting to do. So uh, let's just leave this here. This is fine. I'll clean this up later on. i got to spray this down and clean some stuff up. This this tiller is looking pretty rough. We'll clean this all up. Make sure everything's uh, lubricated. i got the truck back at the house right over there. Let's jump on in and head into town. Go grab some seed, shall we? Oh man, the Chev sounds so good every time. Love this truck. Brand spanking new almost. Look at this thing. Alright, spin around. And off we go into town, folks. Let's do this thing. Hammer down. You know, it's, it's funny, guys. I was complaining about uh, the price of seed. But what about... The, or what's the, the price of diesel, sorry. And But what about the price of, of gasoline? Like, the Chev, is this going to start costing me more? It's, uh... That's going to be a little bit ridiculous. I'm not sure if I should be worried about that as well. But, I mean, the diesel's starting to get up there. Is gasoline going to go through the roof as much? 
I don't know, guys. Like, it seems like it's high enough as is. How much higher can it possibly go, right? Nothing coming, nothing coming. Go, go, go. All right. Straight on through. Got some more farms out in the county here. Yeah, actually, there's the uh, the auction house is right over there. That auction site, that farm. I haven't heard anything on the land out here yet. I wouldn't mind picking up another field out here. But, I mean, we're already into summer, so I'm not going to get a chance to plant anything else. If we were to buy it now, it would be too late anyways. So, what do you do there? Anyways, let's go grab the seed. Wow, look at that billboard. That's an awfully ugly billboard out there. Who's got that thing out in the side of the county? That's kind of strange, isn't it? All right, folks, just down at Johnson's, we've already got our seed loaded up on the truck. Real quick, look at that. they got an old Alice Chalmers, an old John Deere sitting down here. That's not bad. That looks all right. Looks a little bit beat up, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some work done around the farm. But anyways, I don't I don't need that. I need something, something with a front loader. That's what I need. Uh, anyways, seed's loaded up. We got that one pallet should be enough, I think, to, uh, to get us through. Let's get on out of here. Close that tailgate on up. Fire this thing up. Let's head back to the farm. And we'll see uh, if we can get into those fields or sooner or later. I mean, oh, oh, wrong gear. Uh, three on the trees, guys. Always mix up first and reverse. I tell you. <laughs> Best driver in farm sim. All right. Let's head back on up. See if we can get into those fields. Get those things planted. Man, it'd be nice to have that off my plate. So all we got to do worry about is, uh, well, that cattle auction is the next thing I need to kind of start thinking about a little bit harder, isn't it? We're back up on top. Just heading home. Look at, what? oh, man, this field here. Looks like someone's out there working away right now. Actually, this is Austin's farm right here. Oh, hey, look at it. It's actually Austin. You know what? What do you guys think? Should we uh, stop in and go take a look? Let's go say hi. I, I want to go talk to Austin anyways. Uh, he was, uh, we talked to him about the, the cattle auction the other day. Oh, look at it. Yeah, he's pulling out his tractor. Oh, man, that's a nice looking uh, 7250 there too as well. We'll take a little quick pop in. We'll see what he's doing. Let's go say hi. Hey, hey man. How's it going? How you doing, man? Good to see you again. It's been a bit. How was the auction for yeah. you the other day? Oh, uh, it was pretty, it was not too bad. Yeah, not you had bad. some good deals out there, eh? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I've got a little bit of a problem right now. I got my tractor stuck. <laughs> oh, is that what I saw out in the field? I, just over the hill here. I think I saw something when I was pulling in. Yeah, I can see it out there. It's, it's buried. Oh. It's buried. Um, well, that sucks. Um, can can yeah. there something I can do to help out? That would actually be perfect. I need someone to jump in it. Oh, yeah, sure. So I, you can I, do that. I can, I can definitely do that. Um, all I've got... Well, you got a truck, right? I got my truck. I don't know if that's going to be any of any use to you, but... Yeah, I got the four-wheel drive here. It should pull it right out, but... All right. Yeah. 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 That sounds good. If you good just to want to follow me out here. Yeah, sure. Sounds that'd be good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I'll All follow right. you. Let's do that. All right, guys. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, Sounds like he just needs me to drive uh, that tractor that's out there. I think that's the only issue. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's go follow him out and see what's going on. All right. Spin around. Let's try not to lose our seed. That is number one. That's all I need to do is dump all my seed into his field. That would be uh, a bit problematic, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell she's a little bit wet out there. She's a little bit moist in the field here. I can feel she's sinking in a little bit. We don't need a uh, four-wheel drive or anything like that. We can definitely tell she's a little bit, uh, she's a little wet. That's for sure. All right, let me just pull in beside over here. All right, let's see what we got going on. All right, Clutch. All right, what, got a plan what is here. going on? How'd you get this thing stuck over here? It's a bit wet, I guess, out here. Yeah, it's pretty wet. It's been raining like the past two days, at least over here. Yeah, it has. I noticed so. it was. It felt a little slick when I was coming, uh, just following you out here. That's for sure. All yeah, right. it doesn't look like it's very stuck. It just sits there and spins. And oh. I tried backing down and just, yeah, no luck. Doesn't eh? work. So, all right. I'm thinking I'm gonna attach. I'm hoping I can detach this and pull the tractor back down without okay. this rolling down the hill. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. All right. Uh, do you have a block by chance in the back of your truck? Uh, I've, all I've got right now is those that the uh, pallet of seeds. I took everything out, unfortunately. Hmm. Shoot. This is gonna say block up the spare tire here. Yeah, I got nothing. Can... That um, let's see if we can find Hold something. On. I might have a block on in the uh, tractor here. All right, let's go take a look. Oh, you got something? Perfect. Excellent. Yep. All right, we'll all stick right. that down there. That's great. All right, that's blocked. All right, I'm gonna unhook this here. All right. Looks all right, like she's unhooked. unhooked. So Perfect. I've got the. I've got the chain and the tractor cap here. I think I'm just going to move this over and then I'll try, like, pull this out of the way. So do you want to move the tank first? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I got to move the tank first. Okay, let's do that. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Yeah, pull her away. It looks good. All right. I, I don't think I'm going to smack your truck. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're clear. Lots of room. All right. Perfect. All right. So that worked out well. We're excellent. All right. We're attached. We should be good. All right, that looks good. Yeah, that should work. Uh, that should work. All right. So you want me to take the uh, the white? You said? Yeah. All right. Jump in the white here, and I'll uh, see if I'm the anchor back. All right. 
All right, guys. Let's see if we can uh, just back this up. All right, you ready? Uh, we're good to go. Let's do this. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Holy smokes. That was, uh, that sent me for a ride, my friend. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there. My, uh, my steering went cr wacky there. Well, I think I've de you definitely got it out. Holy, that was uh, that was a that was a two coupon <laughs> ride I just got there. That was crazy. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what happened. The tractor just went nuts. <laughs> well, I, uh, you definitely got it out. Uh, there's no question about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, yeah. I think you're good. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate no it. No problem. That's awesome. All right. Well, this is uh, that was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you paid a lady on the way out. I guess. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Well, I should be able to take it away from here, but thank you. I appreciate that it. Sounds good, Austin. Have a good day. I gotta get back. I got some right. plan to do, buddy. Yep. All right. See ya. See ya, man. Oh man, <laughs> that was good times. All right, let's uh, let's get on out of here. <laughs> get this truck fired up. Oh man, looks like he's good now. I think. Bit of a mess out here, though, guys. It's, it's the side of the field. Looks like I got a little more water down into the creek down here, and uh, everything kind of flowed down in. Ah, the chef's got no problems though. We're good. All right, let's get going. Let's get back to the farm. All right, back at the farm. We've got our truck over here with all our seed. You know what? I'm a little nervous about using this uh, this silage pit. I mean, I use this route to kind of get back here all the time. I might have to build another road. So otherwise, we go... You know, it's not that much further to go around that bin, I suppose. It just feels like it's a lot further because I come this way so often. Um, I, I could build a road like right in here, like around the water tower there. That would be fine. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll build a road right there. And that will be our access point into here. We'll see. We brought the Alice Chalmers around as well. Now, I'll show you what we got going on here in a sec. Let me just uh, unload the seed first from the back of our truck. Now, I do only have um, bale forks right now in the front of this thing. And that, I mean, it's not great, but uh, that's all we have. We don't have a proper truck tree yet. So you got to work with what you got sometimes. And we're not, we're not, not moving this too far, right? So as long as we can just get this off of the truck, push this in. Excellent. All right. That looks good. Bring this on back. I'm going to go put this down over in the corner for now. We'll hand bomb some uh, some of these pallet bags or these bags into our uh, our planters here. Now, we've got fertilizer in them all already. It's just seed they need. So we're ran out of seed on the farm. Like I said, we don't have we don't have soybean seeds. So that uh, is why I needed to go buy these pallets. Perfect. One field of soybean seed. Down she goes. Excellent. All right, I'll leave that there for now. And guys, let me just show you. Actually, I'll shut this thing off. Show you what we got going on here. So one of the 8350s, one of these planters we bought the other day. Yeah, now we've got a triple setup. That's perfect. We only had the double beforehand. I think he was only using two. We've got triple, so we can go, what are we at? Nine meters per? Is that nine? No, six. it's six meters per. I don't even know anymore. I think it's something like that. It ends up being around uh, 15 meters, a little more. 18, is it 18 meters? I think it's 18 meters total. Once we push these all the way out, um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit better for us. It'll make short work of these bigger fields. That's for sure. We got it hooked up to our 4450 right now, and uh, we're about to get in the field. Let me go hand bomb some of this seed into these things, and uh, we're going to get in there, guys. Yeah, this should be good. All right, we're all prepped. I uh, decided to rejig these over into just transport mode for now. We're off the center because we do need to get over to well, the field over there. I thought I might be able to push it through the way we had it. But uh, I think it's going to be a bit tight to get out any of the gates. This way here, we can just transport them uh, one after another. We'll have all three of them hooked up. And we'll be good to go. 4450 should, <laughs> should be able to handle this. Um, guys, I don't know if it can or not. We're going to find out. You know what? We're going to go through the, the pit again. Because, uh, well, it, it's the, the, the way of least consequences. If I screw something up in here with these, uh, I'm not going to get hung up at least. <laughs> but if I go through my gate... Uh, over by the uh, the auction house. Uh, that could be a bit of a bigger problem. Alright, there we go. We're good. And all the way back on out. Yeah, I thought I would just leave it the way it was and trying to kind of finagle my way through everything. But, oh, guys, I just don't need the headache. headache. I mean, it takes a couple more minutes to disconnect and reconnect and everything else once you get to the field, but that's fine. That is fine. We can, we can do that there. Alright, so, like I said, into the field we go, and uh, we should be good now. Everything should be good. Got some soybeans to plant in here. All right, looking good. Yeah, good size field. And then over across the way, we'll be doing wheat after that. Here's our turn right here. Slowly crank her on in. 
Make sure we go between these gates. Nice. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. Everything coming in behind nice and straight. You know what? We're going to go down to the far end of the field to start down there. And that's where we'll, we'll uh, have a little bit of space down there. At least we can reconfigure this setup and make sure we're good to go down by that big old tree down there. All right. Everything's disconnected. Let's uh, back on up now with our lead unit. And we'll reconnect individually. Should be relatively straightforward. Perfect. Right about there, I think. We should be good to get everything now. That looks pretty good, guys. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go get, get outside here. Let's hold it forward. We'll reconnect everything. And uh, you know what? We should be able to uh, get in the field once we have this all set up. All right. All connected. Let's, uh, let's aim these out a little bit further now. Let's see what we can get for distances on here. Push this one out as far as she goes. All right. Same with this one here. Out as far as she goes. All right, that should be our maximum width right about there, folks. Let's get these things fired up and into the field. I want to start down on this far side right here. Let's start firing them up one at a time. There we go. We got them all fired now. Uh, perfect. All right, I'm going to drop center one. That one and that one. It should all be dropped now and we should be good to go. Oh, yes. Uh... Yeah, we might need a bigger tractor. Ah, uh, we're a little low on horsepower here. Just a little low on horsepower. Four, oh, four miles per hour. Yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering if that's going to be a problem or not. I mean, we're getting a pretty good wide swath on this, but you know what? Maybe we should be using the Alice Chalmers on this, guys. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's going to be a slow plan for us. I mean, we can like, get another two miles an hour out of this. I would think, at least, if we had. Uh, that I'll pick Alice Chalmers. Maybe even the other John Deere. The uh, 7550, I think it is. 7530. 7530, 7520. I can't remember now. But if we had that, we'd probably at least be able to do six miles an hour consistently. Whereas right now we're lucky if we can get above five. Come on, get going. Get up there. Yeah, this is going to be a slow one. But you know what? It does a nice big wide path. That's not bad. The question is how many can we pass connect onto this? Can we get another, another two on here? No problem. With what we've got for tractors? I don't know. Maybe now we see... You know what, I always thought we wouldn't really have a use for higher horsepower tractors than like 200 horsepower. But now I'm starting to see that there's there might be a use for it. I think we might be able to get some bigger implements, guys. We might be able to do a little more damage. Get out here and really get into the field. Look at the size of that. That's good. That's three times more than we were used to right there. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think we're going to need to upgrade this, guys. There's no way I'm going to work this. This is a, a really big field for this. So, uh, you know what, we're going to pass this off. I'm going to try and make it around the corner here. And we're just going to stop everything down, get to a nice safe spot. That works for me right here. Shut everything down. Nice. All right. And then we'll disconnect this one off the back. And uh, you know what? We'll go pick up. Oh, should we do the Alice Chalmers or should we do the John Deere? I want to go. I, wanna, I like the Alice Chalmers, guys. We just got it. I want to use it some more. So we're going to go pick that bad boy up. Unfortunately, this is a no-go. It's just not enough horsepower. And now I'm starting to see, I thought for sure we wouldn't have a problem with, but if we start getting some big fields like this and getting some options to extend, I can see how having eh, 150 horsepower tractor is no longer going to be enough for us anymore. All right, a little bit of a green on red contrast going on now. Doesn't quite look as good, I have to admit, but you know what? As far as horsepower goes, if this doesn't pull it, then I don't know what we're going to do, folks. This has got to be the only option out there. There's not many other tractors out there right now that are this kind of horsepower. So uh, if this doesn't do the job, I'm, I'm really in some serious trouble. Top one up. All right, let's fire everything on up here. That one, that one, and that one. All right, all our planters are fired. Let's get to work. Come on, baby. Go. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, are they even behind me? I don't even know. Look at that. Oh, she is a beast. Yeah. Um, so much for having a problem anymore, guys. That's fantastic. New favorite tool, and I didn't even know I wanted to buy it. Oh, man. Absolutely amazing. What a steal we got for this thing. Uh, you know what? Those local farmers, I don't think anybody else knows how good of a deal we got on this, guys. Oh, you maybe should like, well, let them know for me, because this is a fantastic tractor what a deal this thing was what an absolute steal of a tractor uh, i think somebody might have gone and bought a couple of john deere 44 50s or 50 60s maybe 
and he paid 10 times what we paid for this Alice Chalmers. 10 times. Actually, I think he paid more than that. Didn't he almost pay 40,000 for one of them? Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can't argue with this. There's no way you can argue with this thing. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing tractor. <laughs> We're pulling three seeders. No problems whatsoever. Soybeans into the field. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Loving it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed as always. If you did, you guys know you have to give that like a big slap. Big, big old thumbs up. Slap that thumbs up right now. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Guys, if you are looking for a way to help out the channel, we are affiliated with Giants. So you can click down in the description below. You're going to find links there to all the DLC as well as the base games. So if you're looking at picking up any of the DLC or the base game, you can purchase it directly from the links provided. And that will give a small monetary feedback to the channel as well and help support us here at Clutch Simulations. We do appreciate that whenever you guys do that. That is fantastic. Uh, it's a newly um, arrived feature for us, a newly arrived partnership that we've got with Giants. And uh, that is awesome that that's already happening. We've already seen a couple of uh, people purchase through those links, and that is great. I appreciate it deeply. Other than that, if you're looking at other, other ways to support the channel, of course, you can do so through our YouTube channel membership program. So if you'd like to do that, all you have to hit is the join button down in the bottom there beside the subscribe button. And from there, you're going to be able to get a special chat icon that shows up when you're in live streams or if you are in uh, on our Discord channel as well or in the comments below. So that'll give a special icon notifying that you are, in fact, supporting the channel. And that is an awesome way for you to help support us here on YouTube. Other than that, folks, I hope you have a fantastic day. And oh, we'll catch you next time from Upper Mississippi River Valley. This is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.